pro-Constitution, really won the first few states and created such a phenomenon against the Republican establishment shows that the ideas of liberty can take over the Republican and Democratic parties, but at the grassroots, you're going to have to do it. And don't think you're going to get, because I've seen them campaign for liberty. This is the real issue. Go over people that are Ron Paul types and, and go for establishment people. So campaign for liberty, we hope will reverse what they're doing. But from the responses we've seen, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And so there's not going to be hatred or anger. I'm not going to ever seek to get Ron Paul on this show again. Rand Paul, I'm done with them. Okay? I don't dislike them. Uh, I will remember them who they were fondly. Uh, and I will time from time when they do good things, point it out. And when they do bad things, I will point it out. They're just, they're just people kind of transferring into rhinos. Rand certainly is. Ron is not speaking out against it. And so, I mean, Rand comes out of him, comes out of his movement. We, we brought Rand to the table. And so Ron not criticizing this is a coordinated uh, nod to it. So that's fine. That's your choice. I've seen publications come out here. Uh, here is one out of uh, NJ.com, the uh, big New Jersey paper. It says two words for those upset by Rand Paul endorsement of Mitt Romney. Grow up. Well, you know what? I am going to grow up. And uh, break with the Pauls. So, okay, I, I grew up. And I'm going to come back with the condescension out of these folks on the other side uh, with this. But no, I mean, I'm grown up. I understand. You've got the Republican Party and Fox News now. You don't want us. You don't need us. In fact, they even say that in these articles. I understand. <laughs> Are you still... Well, I tell you, this has been going on for a long time, the preparations for this. Bob Chapman had sources inside U.S. embassies that told us this over a year ago. God rest his soul. But here's the articles out of Associated Press. You name it. They're up at Infowars.com, boiled down in an article by Kurt Nemo. Globalist plan, European Union, police state lockdown. DrudgeReport.com also uh, has these articles. EU movement of money, people can be limited. That's the financial dictatorship. Those are called capital controls, and that's what the TSA is already doing. They ask you, what's this jewelry? What's this silver coin? What's this diamond? They're even questioning people's diamond rings now. <laughs> I mean, it's beyond Guatemala or Nigeria. I mean, you want a front row seat to tyranny? The bankers didn't set up this police state because they wanted to play patty cake with you or keep you safe. <laughs> they did this because they're going to implode things by design, as I've been telling you for over a decade, really 14 years since I had economist uh, George Humphrey on and others, who said they're going to sell the world their fraudulent directives and their fraudulent derivatives. People, governments are going to sign on to those as too big to fail, and then they're going to raise taxes across the board to bankrupt the middle class and working class to transfer the money offshore. And it's now happening. They have appointed leaders now in places like Italy. They are calling them technocrats. And now they're saying, you know what? You're not going to get your money out of the country and you're not going to withdraw. And we're going to have bank holidays. And then after that happens here, I've talked to high level stockbrokers, high level government officials, and I've talked to other prominent people who've been told the exact same thing, that within a few months of this happening in Europe, they plan to bring it here. Now, exposing it may make them not do it, but if the cops all get in line and the military all gets in line, and if you get in line, they're going... There's a Federal Reserve report out today in the Associated Press where they said, since 2008, we've lost 40% of America's wealth. How do you do that? Well, when you base it all in fiat garbage... And let 1,500 trillion be created that you're then signed on to. It's impossible to pay back. It's there to always rope you into paying into it to wreck the society. It's an anchor. It's a, it's a trillion pound ball and chain. Yeah, there it is. Fed reports how much recession shrank U.S. wealth. Fo folks, it says 40%. That's a depression. And, and you notice we never left it. They told us three years ago the recession was over. It's all lies. But look at these headlines. EU movement of money, people can be limited. Associated Press. 
I've been telling you for years they're getting ready for that. Oh, that's that fear monger. Hey, they're going to have weaponized drones in every city. Oh, shut up, you crazy. Hey, they're going to have RFID in all the products and tax you according to each item with RFID readers. It's going in in Europe. Oh, shit, it'll never happen. Oh, Miami just passed it? Uh oh, but I'm, I'm making it up. And again, people think if they just deny it, it'll be okay. No, it's not going to be okay. The more gullible we are, the worse it's going to get. Look at this. Discusses limiting ATM withdrawals. Disaster scenarios. Again, these are controlled disasters that they pose as the savior. You've got IMF chief Lagrand, IMF chief, warns world risk triple crisis. Oh, if you don't get to do exactly what they say. And it only gets worse each leg. We told you what would happen in 08. We told you how it would move to Europe and then back here. It's all been planned. And what does Lagrand say? This woman who's even against her own country. She's a uh, Anglophile who hates the Francophiles, literally. She's known for that. This is a traitor against her country. And what does she say? She says, you need to shut up in Greece and pay more. By the way, it's, she's exempt. The EU bureaucrats, look this up, are exempt from the taxes. <laughs> I mean, you cannot imagine. I cannot imagine the magnitude, the sheer magnitude of the end your face. Arrogance and criminality of these commissars. And who sold Greece and Italy and Spain and the U.S. and all of them to sign on to the derivatives. Again, this isn't even derivatives the country's invested in that went belly up. That's part of the debt, less than 10%. If you look it up. And other entitlements, which are just there to entice you to sign on to the too big to fail. You know, you'll lose all the entitlements if you don't sign on to our too big to fail. It's their debt and they're saying you're going to pay more. People are committing suicide mass in Greece. They're dumping their children off at government facilities. The orphanages are overflowing. And the media says, oh, they're just lazy. Yeah, next you'll hear Americans are lazy, working on average three jobs. All right, I, you know, I'm going to finish up with this and then briefly the Rand Paul thing. And then a big transhumanism report I was going to get to yesterday. And then your phone calls and then Jesse Ventura. And big TSA molestation news. Again, I'm serious when I say this. They're hiring known child molesters to run every TSA facility. Why not just hire Jerry Sandusky? We're on the march. The M and I'm going to stop right now. That's enough. Thank you so much for that devil went down to Georgia. Okay, let me just mention uh, the news I've got here. Let's just start over here on the right. On the border, guns, drugs, and a betrayal of trust. CNN. Why, local towns caught selling guns to the Mexican drug cartels. So they want to... Muddy the waters talking about local corruption as well and the loss of trust. What about a story CNN about the tens of thousands of U.S. troops killed in secret chemical, biological, and radiological tests that have been declassified right through the 1980s and are still ongoing? You know, uh, private go in that room, nerve gas them, and then dissect their body and tell mama they died from the flu. You think that might be newsworthy? No, 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 no. That's so off the chart evil, CNN isn't going to tell you about it, even though it's a fact. See, when I see an article like that, that's what I think of. Oh, there was a loss of trust. The mayor and police were selling guns to drug dealers. Really? You, thought, you think so? You think that might happen? Only naive morons don't know that's going on. I'd say half the towns in this country have narcotics, prostitute running police departments involved in every evil you can imagine. And then you've got the other half generally who aren't involved in any corruption at all. It, it, it's like either or generally. You've either just got absolute corruption or you don't have hardly any. Because that's how things work in this world. They want to tell you it's all a bunch of gray stuff going on. Not in my experience. It's either they're not corrupt because they're not corrupt and it never gets started. Or they're just totally corrupt. You know, I've had Frank Serpico on this show. Let's get Serpico back on. That was a big brownie point for you, getting him, John Bound. He was a listener, by the way. Once we got him on, that was amazing. I want Frank Serpico. I'm like, how many of the uh, other detectives were dealing drugs? Oh, 100% other than me. I, I, was said, I thought it'd be like 75% because I had a, another detective on who was from New York before Serpico's day. I forget his name. It was like in 2000, probably dead now, but he was in there in the 50s and 60s, and he said about 75%. 
And that's who they had to fire was that many. Now they don't fire people for that. They, they kill you if you expose it. So what do you do? You decriminalize it so the police can't be corrupted by it. And then you regulate it like alcohol or something. And the tax people are so greedy, they'll make sure there's no black market in it or not as big a one because they're greedy for their money. You see, but instead the banks get all the money by making it illegal and your house gets robbed so the druggie can get the overpriced drugs. You knock down the price of the drugs, say 500%, all the money's out of it. <laughs> all the little pimp drug dealers can't act tough all day and drive around in fancy cars. <laughs> what drug dealer wants drugs to be legalized? The answer is zero, 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 zero. All right, I I'm going to shut up. I just mentioned one article, never got to the others. Uh, here's the big article I was just mentioning. Uh, globalist plan, European Union police state lockdown. That's always been the plan. We told you that was coming. None of this is a brand new idea. The, 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 the breakup is into the authoritarian state, holding everyone hostage, getting more power each step every year. Give us trillions more. Give us total control. This will fix it. You'll still get your pensions, police, as long as you shoot protesters. You'll still get your money as long as you don't let folks have their money. And then, of course, you'll end up losing your money in the end as well. European Union apparatchiks are preparing to lock down Europe following Greece's exit from the euro. And again, it hasn't exited yet, but they're talking about it. And they're openly saying that they will control ATM withdrawals, subjecting the citizens of member states to rigorous border checks, Imposing capital controls as a worst case scenario should Athens decide to leave the Euro, Reuters reports. And again, they'll they'll suck Greece a lot more dry than the other countries before they do that. Greece is 2% of the economy over there. It's a total red herring. But you, you notice they left all the big border checkpoints in and set up internal ones within the countries. They got rid of the borders being manned most of the time, to let all the foreigners pour in to take jobs and drive down wages and be blocks that would vote against the regular citizens. Now, though, they're announcing, and this was announced a few weeks ago, uh, but, but, but only because they were having some summits, but now it's going to be permanent. Oh, we're sorry. The foreigners come in. Oh, come on into the mousetrap. Come on into the roaches come in. They don't get out, but you're not leaving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why they got Border Patrol all the way up in San Antonio now, pulling families over. They don't stop illegal aliens. We're the feds, and we're here to search your car. Why are you here? Because the TSA inspector said so. You want to be slaves? You're getting front row seats to it. And here come the little switchblade drones the police departments are going to get. With gas, grenades, 12 gauges, here come the switchblades. All your money to build a giant army against you because the Pentagon's been told and NATO announced earlier this week, they now openly work for the new world order. Our military is no longer ours. It has publicly, without even an issue being raised, the, the Joint Chiefs, the Chairman, the Sec Def Obama said, we get our orders from the United Nations and NATO. And we don't come to you for a jack squat. Now sit there and do your insider trading and have sex with your prostitutes and your pages, Congress. Shut up. We have all the dirt on you, filth. Shut up. And they're like, yes, sir. Hmm, hmm. And that's the end of it. The question now is, is the military and police wake up? The military, sure, they gave Ron Paul most of their contributions. Sure, they're, they're awake. A lot of cops are awake. They're not total c criminal thugs. And, uh, but, I mean, I don't know. I mean, and let me tell you, everything's going to be destroyed. This is the plan. They've already cut 40% of our wealth in five years since uh, 07, 08. And they plan another 40%. They're going to take it all. And people are going to be thankful for what they get. The poorer they get, the more they're going to beg to the government. And and, and you're going to get used to the drone flying by and watching you right out of they live. Hello there, my little friend. Mommy don't like tattletales. Well, mommy does like tattletales in Land of the Coward, Home of the Slaves. So it is an amazing time to see all this happen. You know, I kind of went off on a rant yesterday, or was it Sunday, about every time they have the Republic of Texas biker rally in Austin, over 100,000 bikers come to the town of a million people. And they had, what, four deaths over the weekend? 
And, and, and some city people said, ban the rot rally because of the deaths. No, you bring in 100,000 people. You know, that's freedom. They don't want to wear helmets. They want to be idiots. They want to 